May, uh, April is the month I will be talking about. April started with me heading to Cardiff. Hello, today I am in Cardiff with Theo. Hi. And we're filming the third in my composition series and Theo is attempting to take us places but he gets a bit confused. <laughs> okay, cool, go, just sorry, carry on. Carry on. It was also the first time me and Theo had met and I had a lot of fun. I'd never been to Cardiff before either. After filming, we wandered about, went to uh, the Doctor Who museum type place, um, got ice cream. It was an A++ day. One of the next things that happened in April, after six months of working for the production company near London, for the first three as an intern and the next three as an assistant editor, I moved on. I'd been planning to leave at least for a little bit at that point for a while um, because I was going to be going to America but then some other stuff came up that would be happening later in the month and it just turned out that I'd be um, not going back anytime too soon. So um, first when I left I had a couple days between leaving and America so I headed to more northern England to, to visit my cousins and my mum and sister who were visiting um, those family members at the time um, and we all hung out together. Um, I was just there for a day. Then we got the train back to Scotland and then early the next morning I was headed to America to visit my friends Matt and Abby um, in New York and meet them for the very first time. It was an amazing nine days. I started off in New York then Connecticut, then Boston, which is in Massachusetts, back to Connecticut, and then back to New York. I actually only had a couple hours at home when I got back from America. Then I had to leave for Glasgow as I was about to be part of a sort of summer production company training thing, um, which was a really cool project um, and I was really excited about. But as it turns out, a couple of days into that, I was offered a different program, which was more long term and possibly partially paid um, and had, I guess, more sort of long term um, future possibility type opportunities. So I went for that one and I left Glasgow and um, I had a little bit of time at home before the next one started. So I started work on a little promo documentary type thing, um, which I'd been funded to make about my village. I also had some meetings and stuff. I had a meeting with a charity about a film I'm gonna be making for them. And uh, I got a call from the BBC. <laughs> um, the BBC called me um, because they'd heard about me already from someone um, that worked there um, and I'd recently sent them a link to my YouTube channel and a bit of info about me and they called and said they would really like me to be part of their new online video project called The Social. So The Social is basically lots of different Scottish people making lots of different cool content um, for the young people demographic in Scotland. I've been spending some time recently developing some ideas from that um, and I've been asked to make a pilot for one and uh, start scripting another um, and I'm really really excited about it. Um, the day after I got that phone call and started discussing things with them and agreed that hell yeah I wanted to make videos and films for the BBC. They also asked if I would like to go to the launch party which was the next day so I said, hell yeah, I want to go to the launch party at the BBC Scotland headquarters in Glasgow. So um, I booked my train, uh, packed a bag and headed to Glasgow. <laughs> Sup nerds, so I've checked into my hotel and then I'm going to meet my friend Rayhan and we're going to head over to the BBC party for the social. So I'm now with Rayhan and we're just waiting for a taxi to head over to the BBC and the weather is really nice. Excellent. Uh, what are your names? Uh, I'm Rayhan 
Bossy. And I'm Ailey Gow. So we are now up on the social floor of the BBC. Thank you, thank you, everybody. And it is beginning. So we've had some more information about it now, and it looks like it's going to be, looks like snacks, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and also uh, some talks, and then we're going to be sort of networking with each other and press and BBC and TV people. So it sounds like fun and keen. Then I got back, carried on with my documentary for a few days and then the month ended a couple days before it was time to head off on a residential boot camp type thing as part of the film programme but you'll see that next month. Yeah, very cool month. Lots of cool career stuff happening, man. Man, I'm excited. More info on the BBC stuff. Um, hopefully you're going to start seeing some Ailey content on there very very soon. Um, I'm gonna add a new little box on my end screen where I'll link to each video I do when I've got a new one going for the BBC. Um, I'll also link to all their stuff down below so you can go like their page on Facebook or subscribe to them on YouTube. As I mentioned I'm working on a couple series with them at the moment. Um, one which I'm particularly excited about is a series about different genders and sexualities and yeah I'm just really excited about that one because I guess from the start of wanting to get into the media I've always wanted to try my best to make it a bit more diverse a bit more let's be honest a bit more gay no harm in a bit more gay how are your lives let me know in the comments um good nice and um, oh Toda la clave. Suena el bombo, hazme un tumbao que el ritmo lo pongo yo.